So today we look, we're, we're looking at the law of business success, the law of business purpose, I mean, the law of business purpose, or the law of purpose, but I want to break it down to, because I specifically talk about purpose in business, and of course, there is career purpose for those who are working professionals, or anybody who desires to create anything that has to serve the society, you need to understand how the law of purpose, when it comes to creating a structure, creating a business, is all about. The purpose of a business is to create and keep a customer. That is the summary of that law. The purpose of a business is to create and keep a customer. It can be the same for a working professional. Your purpose as a professional is to be creative in your workplace and be able to consistently contribute to the growth of that institution where you work. Because if you are not consistently growing, there's no need maintaining that relationship between you and your employer. Many people get to think that the purpose of a business is to make profit. However, that may be the purpose of the individual who started the business, that is the entrepreneur or the investor in that business. A business in itself, a business as a mission, in itself is really a separate entity. That's why it, even in, in, the leg, in legal terms, when a business is, re, it is registered, it is recognized as an independent entity from the founder. And it has a purpose of its own. It has a purpose of its own. And that is why it is said that profits are a measure of how well the company is fulfilling its purpose. It is the same for a professional. Your career success, how much you are respected in a particular industry as a professional is a measure of how well you are fulfilling your purpose as a professional. So when you run an institution, when you are starting an institution, it is very critical for you as a professional or for you as the entrepreneur to clearly establish what is the purpose of this running machine I am about to create. Your purpose as an individual who is creating that machine may be different from the real purpose of the institution that you have created. Your purpose may be to make money and become wealthy, but the purpose of that business, of that institution, may be to create excellent value in a particular direction for a particular set of people. And the byproduct of that purpose manifestation is you now making your profit as the founder or the executive. And that is why I get worried when I see young people running institutions when they cannot clearly, articulately, from sleep, communicate excellently the purpose for the institution, the purpose of the startup. If the purpose of the startup is attached directly only to making money and the number of sales you're going to make, it is not enough. Because every serious business needs, a, needs clear purpose, very powerful purpose to keep it going in creating and distributing value, even when the profits are not coming. But there is something that has been proven in business. It has been established in business that any business that is able to consistently, effectively, and innovatively 
fulfill its purpose to a particular group of people, what they call the target market, always ends up being a profitable business. So that is why the level of sales and profitability that a business enjoys, that a company enjoys, is the result or the measure of how well the organization or the company or everyone in that organization contribute towards the achievement of that purpose. Now, this goes now more deeper and now talks about the people that works for the organization. It will be difficult if you have employees, if you have interns, you have volunteers, even investors who are working for your startup, who are working for your NGO, who are working for your institution, and they are not very intentional and they are not very clear about the level and the deepness of their contribution to the achievement of the purpose of the institution then something is wrong. Their level of dedication, their level of commitment will not be high. That is why there are some businesses and institutions that some employees can work extra time and they're dedicated towards extra time because they are more concerned on what kind of contribution can we bring into the business than how much will we be paid as over time. So the level, for those who run businesses right now, you run an NGO right now, the level of your effectiveness as an institution, the level of your sales, the level of your profitability, even the level of your operations effectiveness that your business, that your institution enjoys is the result or the measure of how well that institution or that business, and most importantly, of how well everyone in that business, everyone in that institution is very intentional at contributing towards at the achievement of the purpose of that institution. So the question is, are the people in your institution, are you as the founder, are you working towards the achievement of the purpose of the institution or you're working for the byproduct of purpose manifestation, which is profitability and sales? Let me tell you something. Sales and profitability is a byproduct of something higher and that is the purpose of the institution. It is a byproduct. That is why there are some business people that are more rugged and more, more driven and, and, and the hardest workers in the room because they are working beyond money. It is not money that determines their determination. It is not money that determines the level of their hard work. It is not money or profitability that determines how much extra time or how much extra mile they are willing to go to fulfill or to create a better experience or to create significant impact for the target population. It is the same like in PPF example. This is, day, this is day 13 of our morning school. Before this, just a few months, two months ago, one, uh, what in December, just exactly one month ago or so, we were doing the morning retreat. We did it for how many days, 12 days and all of that. How much does it cost to be in PP? 12,000 francs a year, roughly what? 1,000 francs a year, right? But the value that we get to consistently deliver to you is beyond that is beyond what you get to pay for it. So there is something driv uh, driving the, the result. There's something driving the service that we give you that is beyond the money that is being made from PPA. Because it's not even a money-making machine. It's not. Because if it was a money-making machine, it should be more than this. But the point is that for, for, for the service to be consistent like this for 13 days every morning, it is because the purpose comes first 
And if there is any profit, if there are any sales, if there's any income at the end as a result of Peak Performance Academy, it is only a byproduct of purpose fulfillment, of purpose manifestation. But again, as I said earlier, I, have, I am still going to see a business that will be unprofitable and produce lesser sales if they have established their purpose statement. They are very clear about their mission and they are so excellent in fulfilling their purpose and they are not making profit. It is difficult to see that. Because when you are fulfilling purpose, your level of hard work is so massive. Your level of dedication is so driven. The way that you are willing to learn, you are willing to improve, you are willing to adapt, you are willing to be persistent, you are willing to be flexible, will be so amazing that by default, the byproduct of that kind of operations, the byproduct of that kind of, 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 of of, uh, of, of energy is only success in terms of profitability and excellent sales. The question for you is, are you very clear about the purpose of your business? Can you articulately write down the purpose statement of your business? And is, are you living that purpose on a daily basis? Are you striving on a daily basis to fulfill that purpose? Are you creating structures and systems? Are you creating products and services? Are you being, are you thinking 10 steps ahead on how, on what, and how you are going to consistently fulfill this purpose for the institution that you have created before your personal desires? are being fulfilled as a result of the purpose manifestation. What is the purpose of the business you have created? What is your career purpose? This is the foundation of massive hard work and dedication. There are some people that always seem as if they are the hardest workers in the room. There are some people always, they always seem as if they, they are consistently producing better results. They always seem as if they burn extra hours than you. The difference is that these people are working beyond just numbers. There is something driving them. There is a higher purpose responsible for their dedication. I always like to say that you are not yet matured as a human being. You are not yet matured as a professional. You are not yet matured as a business person. If you are not working every day towards a higher purpose. You are not working every day towards something that is bigger than you. Then your level of maturity is still very, very small. One sign of mature people is that they have discovered something. They are part of something that is bigger than themselves. And what do I mean by bigger than themselves? They are part of a, a machinery. They are part of a system that creates significant impact in the community, changes lives and impacts more people, which is beyond just money, which is beyond just monthly salary, which is beyond just making money. There is a higher purpose, which is the purpose of creating significant impact in the lives of a target people in the society. Profits are a cost of doing business, the cost of the future. Now, what does this mean? It is profits that pay for everything. It is profits that pay for wages, pay for salaries, pay for taxes, investment in new products and processes, research and development. That's what profits do. And all the many constructive things that a company can do when it is serving its customers well when it is fulfilling its purpose well. So the result of excellent profit, the result of getting the money you need to do all you need to do is for you to serve your customers well, is for you to manifest your purpose well by creating impact in the lives of people that you are supposed to serve as an institution. Before you can then make the profit, which you need to run every other thing in business because profit 
pays for everything in business. It is revenue that pays for employee salaries, that pays for, for taxes, that pays, that, 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 that's the, that, 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 that creates a budget that they can use for research and development, new product design, creating new systems and all of that. But all of these is a byproduct of something specific, the purpose, the purpose of the institution. Many people are struggling in business because their mind is only on the money. And when your mind is only on the profit, trust me, you don't innovate well. You don't produce better results because you are focusing your mind on the byproduct. You are not focusing your mind on the main thing. It is the main thing. It is service to customers with purpose that produces great sales and profitability. You look at the platform like the Zoom platform by using. The founders and the engineers don't focus on how much we make yet. Their focus is how do we create a good virtual experience for people that use our platform? So in all that they do, in all the engineering and the product development and the new features that they're adding every month to, to the Zoom platform to create a better experience, what they are focusing on is how do we give the users an excellent experience when it comes to virtual presentations. And when they focus on that, they begin to ask the target market, what can we do better? How can we serve you better? How can we fulfill our purpose more effectively by serving you? And when they collect the feedback, they are able to use that feedback and create a more excellent product. And when they have an excellent product and they design, a, they design better marketing and distribution channels on how to get the excellent product they have designed from the place of purpose to the customers, the customers have no choice than to enjoy it, than to love it. And when they enjoy and they like it and they love it, what happens? They start practicing repeat and regular purchase. They start practicing consistent purchase. They start recommending their products to other people. And when these things start manifesting, profit starts coming in by default. High sales start coming in by default. If there is one important thing that you can discover when you're carrying out your idea validation, for those who have done a mini MBA program, when you carry out your idea validation, one of the most important questions that you have to answer is, is this product, will this service, will this solution solve the pain point of the users? And how will it solve the pain point of the users? When you are clearly, when you are able to clearly establish how your business will fulfill its purpose to the target market, in the lives of the target market, I can guarantee you that you are almost in business because sales will start happening effortless because what you have designed, what you have created is from the place of purpose. And as I told you guys one time, purpose is for a group of people. Anything that you have as purpose and underserves you is not purpose, that's personal ambitions. Anything called purpose is for a people, is to serve a people, is to serve a target people. And that is why if your business, if you cannot clearly communicate who your main target, who your ideal customers are as a business person, then I can also tell you that you have not ascertained the purpose of that business that you have established. Who are you called to serve through your business? The opposite of profit is loss. Where there are losses, there are reductions in economic activity, fewer jobs, and often the collapse of the enterprise. Where there are continuous losses in business, there is no future for the people who work there. And consistent losses in business is also a sign that the business may be operating outside the purpose or the business may be operating 
around its purpose, but the business is not fulfilling its purpose in the lives of the target people, or the business has not outgrown, the business is not agile enough to meet the needs of the target people that the business is called to serve. And it is very dangerous when a business is operating at a loss. The economic effects, the negative economic effects, the reductions in economic activity is very dangerous, not only to the economy, but to the global landscape as a whole and to you as an individual. The fewer jobs, there's a ripple effect of, pro of losses. People start losing jobs. And when an individual loses job, when they, imagine a family man who has two kids who are going to school and a wife and a parent, when he or she, when, when he loses his job, he can no longer pay school fees. The ripple effects now start affecting the kids. And when the kids cannot be in school consistently as a result of school fees, what happened? They start becoming poor in school. Their law, their self-esteem is affected. They can no longer concentrate. And when they start failing examination, it can affect their, their mental intelligence. So the ripple effect of losses on individuals, on the economy, on the business itself, on the founder, they are so huge. And that is why when you're running a business, you need to ensure that you are always operating that business from the right place of purpose. You're fulfilling the purpose. You're serving the right customers. And when you're doing that, sales and profitability should be happening. If your sales and profitability are being affected, check the purpose. Check how well you're serving your target market. Check the size of the target market you're serving. Check how well, how, how, how uh, uh, the deepness of the innovation or the value that you have created for the target market. Are they enjoying the, the solution that you have designed for them? Do they feel that your purpose, that in when you live and manifest your purpose as an institution, are they enjoying the purpose manifestation? And are you solving their pain point? Anyone who is opposed to profit making is therefore opposed to the future of the people who depend upon the business of their livelihood. These people, cannot have a future where they are not profit. And a business cannot have profit where there is no service to the target market. And there is no true service when the business is not fulfilling its purpose to the people the business has been called or created to serve. That is the process. That is a process. So when purpose is not, be, when, when the business purpose is not being fulfilled, Number one, customers are not being served the right way. And when customers are not being served the right way, sales will not be effective as anticipated. And when sales are not effective, revenue will not be upbeat as anticipated. And when revenue is not upbeat as anticipated, profitability will be low. And when profitability is low, it means that the business may be making a loss. And when there are recent loss, there are reductions in economic activity. And when there are reductions, there, there are fewer jobs and the enterprise can collapse. So you see that the foundation of your purpose, the strength of your purpose, the, the deepness and, 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 and how much you are committed to your purpose plays a very significant role in the overall operations of the business. There are some business people, there are some founders, there are, even, there are even some employees who can go the extra mile, work late nights. On weekends, they're thinking about how to grow and expand the business. On weekends, they're seeking better ways to serve the target market. They're seeking better ways to create better solutions and better services and better products so they can upsell to the target market, fulfill the purpose, and enjoy the economic benefits of purpose manifestation as an institution. Therefore, the charge for you is, if you are thinking of starting a business or you have started a business already, I want you to clearly ascertain what is the purpose of that institution. Forget about yourself at the moment. Put the institution as an independent entity. Break it down. 
ask a simple question. What is the most important purpose of this institution? Write it down, establish it. Make sure that whatever you write down is for a group of people. It's designed to serve a people. And when you do that, you start looking for opportunities to make your company more successful. Your ability to impact the profitability of your company is the critical determinant of your long-term success as an entrepreneur. Your ability to impact the profitability of your company is the critical determinant of your long-term success. And this ability to impact is taking you back to your ability to ascertain the purpose of the business, the purpose of the company and the effectiveness of the company. And it goes further. You need to ensure that while you have ascertained the purpose of the company or while you are fulfilling the purpose of your startup, you need to also know the price and the profit structure of your enterprise. Because in fulfilling purpose, there is a price. There is a price that you have to go through. They, they, it takes a price to produce a product that can serve the target market. What if the profit structure, how do you know that this purpose is being fulfilled at a profit? What are your most profitable products and services? In every institution, every institution, every business that is doing well and that is purposeful, that business has a star product, has a most profitable product. They have that product that the way that we are fulfilling purpose, there is a particular product that customers enjoy and they buy more because this particular product serves them better and more effective. There is a way that we have so designed our purpose. There's a way that we are so excellent. We have so designed systems and tools and instruments that enable us to deliver our purpose to our target market. And there is one of the instruments which you can call a product that our customers love the most. Which of our products is the most profitable product? And how can we scale up the sales how can we scale up the distribution of our most profitable products? Another question to ask yourself as a byproduct of you living your business purpose is, who are your most profitable customers? As I said earlier, every purpose is for a group of people. And in that group of people, they are the highest. There are some people in that group of people that buy your products more. You can call them your most profitable customers. <clears throat> They practice repeat and regular purchase. They understand the value of the products that you have designed to serve them. And they buy the value. They don't complain about the price more because they understand, oh, you know what? This is the value I am paying for. Where do you have an influence on the money coming into your company? Through the purpose that you have established for your business and through the services that you're creating, through the products that you're creating, through the tools that you're creating from the place of purpose. Where do you have influence on the money coming into your company? Do you have influence on excellent marketing? There are some of you that you are very good at marketing. That is a place where you have influence. If you want to increase sales and profitability, you just need to create better marketing strategies. And that is you influencing the money that comes into your business. There are some of you that you're good at distribution. You have mastered logistics and distribution. You know how to get products to new customers into new markets. And that is your way of influencing money that comes to your business. Some of you are just good at creation. 
you can create better products. You can innovate and produce better services. You can create a better customer experience. And through this creation, you can influence the money that comes into your business. So identify areas where you can help to create and keep new customers. Look at your overall purpose. Looking at the overall purpose of this business, where are we not utilizing this purpose excellently? Which part of this purpose can we use? Can we leverage them? Can we take advantage of to create and keep new customers? Look for opportunities to develop and promote new products and services. Yes, a business that operates from the place of purpose and serve a target group of people in the society, there are always new ways to, you can use your purpose Oh, the purpose of the business is to do this. Okay, which group of people in our target market are we not serving the best? Look for the opportunities to develop and promote new products and services. This is what will keep you in business. There is no way that you will stay in business if you are not consistently fulfilling your purpose to a target group of people by creating new products and services for that group of people. You will be you, you will die out quickly without realizing what, when you die out. Customers will kick you out in, as, as fast as possible because you are not in your creation mode. You are not in your element when it comes to making sure that the business is consistently fulfilling its purpose to the target population. And the only way that you can fulfill your purpose to the target society is by looking for opportunities within that market, looking for opportunities within your business purpose to develop and promote new products and services. Therefore, find ways to build greater loyalty among your existing customers. Yes, customers that already believe in your purpose, customers that already believe in the, in the tools and the solution that you have created to serve them. You can only fulfill purpose through products and services. Purpose on its own, grammar written down as purpose does not lead to profitability. It is purpose that has been converted to products, to projects, to services, to solutions that gets to lead to profitability. The purpose of PPA, for example, is to help people to find better ways to be peak performers in career and business. Okay, that is good. Now, that is grammar way written down. Now, how do we make this into a project? How do we turn this into a product? Okay, create the 4 a.m. morning school. Now, that is a product. That is a service created to facilitate the purpose of the Peak Performance Academy. Purpose that cannot be converted into a project that can be executed. Purpose that cannot be converted into a product, into a service, into a tool, into a solution is not purpose. That is just grammar on its own. And that kind of purpose will never produce profit because profit only comes when people understand the product and they are willing to pay for it. So converting a purpose into a product, service, and tool enhances your ability to become profitable. And that is why you need to understand the fluency of purpose. The ability to convert your purpose that you have ascertained into various projects and products and services and tools and systems that people can now understand how it can affect or change their lives. Then that, that, that is why there are many people that they, they, they say, oh, I have purpose. Oh, I know my purpose. But what are you doing with that purpose? What the hell are you doing with that purpose? This is what separates for people who are really living their purpose and people who have discovered their purpose and they have no idea what to do with it. And when you run your business this way, you will always be relevant. You will always be a step ahead in your industry. Because you don't create things by reaction. You don't create things based on what is happening with industry trends only. No, you also create things by anticipating or looking at the kind of market we are serving with our purpose. These are the things that we need. Looking at the kind of complaints that people are giving us from, giving us from our target market, we need to improve and design better projects and better services and products so we can serve them and begin to live our purpose. Why? Because you are always conscious 
Purpose sometimes is hot in their body like fire because you're always, how can I, how can I leave my purpose? How can I create better systems and platforms to manifest my purpose? How can I serve these people better? How can I be more fulfilled and feel more significant? The only way I can do that is for me to leave my purpose by creating various systems and projects and products and services and tools and solutions that can enable my target market to enjoy the purpose that I get to manifest. So the charge for you is, you need to make sure, take this purpose discussion to another level. Don't just make it like a, 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 a the, way, the way many people talk about purpose, they, they, talk, they, they talk about it as if it's something that is unfocused, something that is, you know, is, is, is the in thing, everybody's talking about it. You don't talk about purpose, you are nowhere to be found, no. Everybody can talk about purpose. Many people talk about purpose, but very few get to manifest it. And these are the things you need to start doing, especially if you're business inclined. You need to start operating from this dimension. And trust me, when you do that, the future and the long-term success of your business is guaranteed. We saw that earlier. One of the best ways to guarantee your longevity in an industry is for you to ascertain the purpose of that institution that you have created for the target market. And profits will come effortlessly because it is the byproduct of purpose manifestation. And when you purely, excellently, effectively manifest your purpose towards the right people by delivering excellent value, excellent products and projects, by default, you will be profitable. Some of you who have been struggling to make excellent profits, maybe you have been missing out on your purpose. Maybe you did not ascertain your purpose well because the best way to create excellent products and services is for you to create from the place of purpose, from the place of filling a gap and pain points for a target people. And any product designed and created from the place of purpose always sells because people always connect themselves to it. People always understand the kind of pains that the products can feel for them. And any product that fills a gap, any product that increases access, any product that reduces pain, any product that increases speed for anything will always have a market uh, as far as the general marketplace is concerned. If you discover that your product is struggling to sell, your product is struggling to, uh, to, 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 to bring in profitability, begin to ask yourself, is this product created, was this product, was this service, was this solution created from the place of purpose? Was this product created to enhance the purpose manifestation of this business. When you are able to start answering these kind of questions, you are on the right path when it comes to building a long-term sustainable business that will be significantly relevant for a very, very long time. That is why great companies like the Microsoft, the Apples, like the Samsung, decades after decades, they keep existing. They no longer, they, these people have never designed or defined anything first with profit in mind. Go and check some of their sessions online. Go and check their shareholder meetings. Go and check their employee annual meetings. They always talk. When you listen to Mark Zuckerberg, he's when any time that they are having a meeting, he always talk about the purpose of social, the purpose of Facebook. How can we bring people together in communities? He has never spoken about money. How do we make more money? No, how can we bring people together? That is the purpose of metaverse of Meta, the, the main company. That's why he has WhatsApp. That's why he has Instagram. That's why he has a Facebook and all of these platforms because it is the main purpose of the institution that he created. When you he listen to Steve Jobs talk, right, he rest in peace. When you listen to him, the greatest marketer that ever, ever existed in the present dispensation. When you listen to him talk, his mission, his purpose, or the purpose of Apple on this leadership have always been, how can we get more personal computers and more digital gadgets in the hands of every American? How can we make their lives easy 
by bringing technology into their hands. That was the purpose and that is the purpose of app. And that's why they keep creating better solutions, better apps, they keep creating better gadgets, anything that can enhance your life and create a better living experience for you. So what is the purpose of your business and how are you creating solutions and projects and products and services from that purpose to enhance the purpose manifestation that you have ascertained? When you begin to do that, there is no day you will never be relevant because you will always be creating stuff that will meet the needs of the people. One of the easiest ways to be relevant for 10, 20, 30, 40 years is to operate from the place of purpose because you will always create things that will meet the needs of the people and will solve the dire pain point of the target market that you have chosen to serve. And that way, profitability becomes effortless. All right, everybody, that is it for today. You can chat about some questions and round up for today.